The Force has given us a vision. There is great danger within the temple. We cannot let you face it alone. You might be walking into a trap. Maybe Malak himself is waiting inside. Even if he isn't, that temple will be crawling with Dark Jedi. You'll need all the help you can get. <laughs> Your destiny, maybe the fate of the entire galaxy, could be forever changed inside that temple. I'm not about to let you face that alone. Not after- Jolly speaks for both of us. You must enter- So you just tell that guide of yours to do whatever he asks. I don't know what he said, but it sounds like your guide- The Republic fleet is on the way and we're- Molira a su actorón con hipotaga, guanaga con tese, extra toc no acudiría. Achuta. Why do I get the feeling this is going to take a while? Still, we better stay ready. As soon as those. Mala martota. Acudí gratón bola, Jesuá colatón. John King no. Lord Malak, the preparations are nearly complete. Every day the Star Forge adds more ships to our fleet. It is operating at nearly 300% of our projections. The fleet is assembling around the Star Forge and awaits your instructions. Patience, Commander. My new apprentice is nearly ready. Once Bastula joins her battle meditation to our enormous fleet, we shall be invincible. Then we shall begin our final conquest of the Core Worlds, and the Republic will be crushed forever. As you wish, Lord Malak.
What? Yes? Yes? What? Oh, my God. 
Your wish?
intrude on our meditations. You know the penalty for... <gasps> Revan, you are back. Malak told us what happened to you. The Jedi Council has stripped you of your power. You are a shell of what you once were. You are not fit to rule the Sith anymore, Revan. <laughs>
yin kin kuno ba monera chikon tong hai tung kon chin ne bobo je mata ne ta kon jo stak ni ki grabu mo ka chicho ita hau dong to pa de bon gua ta kon jo stak ni ki grabu mo ka chicho ita ka chicho ita hau dong yin kin kuno ba tong hai ba chi bi yo ma li ta a kin ko tu ta kon jo stak ni ki grabu mo ka chicho ita Kachicho ita hotonga Yin kin kuno ba mulira chi Tonga hai wam chi di yuma liksa ad inko tu Tolpa da bon guari agando de la ara cho cho Kachicho ita kon jo stak ni ki grabu mogo Kachicho ita hotonga Tolpa da bon rondi hotonga ku honga bi Wala kun ves jeng pala mori ton king ba no kong ki
Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. the Sith torments with the passionless serenity of a true Jedi, emptying my mind. But after a week of endless tortures, I finally saw the truth. Malak forced me to acknowledge my anger and pain. He showed me the liberating power of these emotions. Then he made me see how the Jedi Council has denied me what is mine. The Jedi Council gladly used my battle meditation in their wars, but they still treated me like a child, like an inferior. They wanted me to bow and call him master and follow their code and obey their every order. All the while, they were exploiting my battle meditation. Lies. You were the one living a lie, Revan. The Jedi Council made you into You used to be Revan, master of the Sith. But no longer. You were so pity the power you once had is so diluted in. With the power of the Starforge, Malak will destroy the Republic and... you after all, Revan. You can deny what you are, Revan, but you're only fooling yourself. I know the truth. I have seen the shadows inside your mind, remember? I was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the Force to preserve your life, Revan. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. These are not your true feelings, Revan. You are speaking as a tool of the Jedi Council, as I once did. But now the Council tried to exploit the bond between us, but in our shared visions of this... Mistakes. No, Revan. The only mistake you are making is the one you are making now. You deny yourself the power that is your... You deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not... beneath my contempt, Juhani. When you felt the power of the dark side, you fled to a cave like some cowering animal. You know nothing of the Force or its true potential. But you, Revan, the power... You are a pathetic fool, Revan. You will be crushed with the... Re
Yes. Yes. Sure. Your wish? Where's Bastila? Is she alive? What happened inside that temple? The dark side? Bastila? No! No! How could that happen? She was always in danger of being seduced by the dark side, Carl. Bastila was strong. She was always impatient and headstrong. Malak preyed upon her weakness. This planet is a tainted place. The Star Forge and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. Malak has a strong hold on Bastila now. It will be difficult for her to break free of his influence, especially considering her long association with you. Remember the bond that was forged between you when she rekindled the spark that was your life. Through that bond, she touched your memories and also the echo of the dark taint within you. But there's still hope for her, right? I mean, Revan rejected the dark side, so Basila could too, right? We still might be able to save her. I don't know what fate awaits us, 
but I sense Bastila still has a role to play in the events to come. I have no doubt she will be waiting for us on the Star Forge. No doubt. But let's go then before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. How may I be of assistance? What is it you would like? There is little to tell. He was a kind man, but frustrated. When he decided to leave... No, I didn't. He was angry at my... He reminded what he had... Statement. HK4. As. must have gotten the message I sent as we were crashing into that planet. I'm picking up the transmission from them now. This is Admiral Thorne Dodonna to the Abbott Hall. Can you read us? Admiral Dodonna, this is Karth Anassi. We're receiving your transmission. Karth, I'm glad to see you're still alive. We've begun our assault on the Star Forge, but we're taking heavy losses. How did the Sith ever manage to build something of this scope? The Star Forge wasn't constructed by the Sith, Admiral. We don't have time for me to fully explain it. That space station is far older than you can imagine. Maybe we should pull the fleet back and retreat. I don't know if we have the firepower to go up against this alien technology. You can't do that, Admiral. The Star Forge is a factory of immense power. It's been churning out the capital ships, snub fighters, and assault droids that empowered the Sith War effort. You have to destroy the Star Forge now, or you'll be fighting an unending wave of reinforcements. Then I guess we have no choice. But it isn't going to be easy. I can't even get our capital ships into position to start bombarding the Star Forge. The Sith fleet is too well organized. It's like they can guess our every move and count our every strategy. It's because of Bastila, Admiral. She turned to the dark side and became Malik's apprentice. We suspect she's somewhere on that space station right now, using her battle meditation against you and your fleet. This is Master Vandor. A number of Jedi Knights have joined our fleet under his command. If Bastila is using her power to augment the Sith, then Malak's fleet is invincible. Our only hope is to somehow stop Bastila from using her battle meditation. How can we do that if she's on the space station? We have to send a squadron of Jedi Knights to the Star Forge to find Bastila. Their small ships will be able to fly through the Sith blockade and dock on the space station. If they can find Bastila, they may be able to distract her attention from the battle overhead. That should allow you to move your capital ships into position for a final assault on the Star Forge itself. I hate to ask this after all you've done, Carson, but the Jedi may need all the help they can get. Don't worry, Admiral. The Evan Hawk and her crew are gonna see this through to the end.
You made it. Several Jedi have already gone ahead into the Star Forge. We have to strike while we still have the element of surprise. If we don't stop Bastila from using her battle meditation, the entire Republic fleet will be wiped out. Come on, before they... Damn! So much for coming them unprepared. We'll deal with these Sith. You get into the Star Forge. <laughs> Thank you. 